In PADS, you can define, edit, and review constraints both in schematic and layout environments. We'll start with the schematic. In the schematic environment, the constraints interface is oriented on defining constraints for nets and components. Constraints can be defined, edited, and reviewed in the constraints window. Net constraints are split into four sets. High-speed constraints, routing constraints, clearance constraints, and special constraints for differential pairs. Constraint names shown in the constraints window are supplied with the tooltips explaining the meaning of the constraints. Components have one set of constraints. These constraints are typically used to specify reduced clearances and routing restrictions for creating escapes from fine pitch devices and connectors. Initially, all constraints are pre-populated with default values stored in a configuration file. Default constraints are shown with bold font. To set constraint values, you simply select a net and change the value in the constraints window. Modified values are displayed with a regular font. If you need to set the same value to multiple constraints or nets, you can select multiple cells and change the value only once. You can also create constraint definitions for net classes and to define match length groups. Creating a net class is pretty straightforward. First, you select a net to be included in the net class and specify constraint values for the class. Then you use create new class command and specify the name of the class. The selected net is automatically assigned to the class. Constraint definitions for net classes are written to configuration file and can be reused in your next project. Once the new net class is created, you can assign the remaining nets to that class so they acquire constraints defined for the class. To do this we select nets. We can do it one at a time or as a group and the selected nets show up in the constraints window. Now we only change the net class in the PCB class row and all the nets now have the constraints defined for the class. To create a differential pair, we select two nets and use Make Differential Pair command inside the constraints window. Now we define differential pair specific constraint values for this pair, like trace width and gap between traces. It is also possible to specify minimum and maximum length for the pair. Here we define maximum length as 9 inches. You may notice that in the properties window, the diff pair property for the selected net shows the name of the opposite net in the pair.